interesting facts about quokkas. Hi everyone, this is Winnie or Miss Tang. Today we are learning how to write a conclusion. This is because we want to summarize our topic in our information report. Our success criteria includes starting a new paragraph and including at least one fun fact. In our planning video, we had a look at gathering some facts on our animal, the quokka, and we also pulled out the facts and categorized them into the different paragraphs that we are going to write. We will be using this information and this planning to help us write our conclusion. What we're going to do first is we are going to start a new paragraph. So you can use subheadings to help your readers guide them through your text and be able to understand what this paragraph is going to be all about. Now you can use the subheading conclusion, interesting fact. You can say, did you know? You can say fun fact. So you can really pick what subheading you would like to use. start off with quokkas. Quokkas, quokkas are related to kangaroos and wallabies. And then we can talk about them climbing trees like koalas. They can climb trees like a koala. Threats to quokkas include habitat destruction and predators such as dingoes and foxes. We'll stop. To protect quokkas, and keep them safe and healthy, do not touch or feed them. Have a look at what a good, great and amazing conclusion looks like. For a good conclusion, we've got our subheading, did you know? And we've also got a fun fact. Quokkas can climb trees. A great conclusion looks like, did you know? Quokkas are related to kangaroos and wallabies. They can climb trees like a koala. In our amazing paragraph, we have our subheading of did you know? And then we've got Quokkas are related to kangaroos and wallabies. They can climb trees like a koala. Threats to quokkas include habitat destruction and predators such as dingoes and foxes. To protect quokkas and keep them safe and healthy, do not touch or feed them. In our amazing paragraph, we have got lots of information and lots of interesting facts about our quokkas. For example, what who they're related to. And we also compare them um, to koalas as well in how they climb trees. And we also include what threats there are to quokkas and give some examples. We also have some advice on how to protect quokkas and keep them healthy and safe. And that's how you write an amazing conclusion. Click here to learn how to include language features in any informative text. See you in my next video. Bye.